All right, how's it going? It's Tuesday night, game night. Still don't have a long-term game. And um, it's coming up on Victoria's birthday, so I kind of blew my budget for, for this week, and so I didn't really have a lot of money to spend on a game. So I went just out of curiosity and looked at the uh, games that are in the Quest Library store and ran across this interesting one that happens to be free. That's right, it's free. So. You should just go download it and try it yourself. In the meantime, I'm going to be playing it right now. This game is called Gods of Gravity, and it's a real-time strategy game. I guess similar to something like, I don't want to say Civilization or Risk or like that, because those are turn-based, but it's sort of the same thing, strategy and, and, and conquest. It's got a bunch of different play modes. You can play as a single player in campaign mode. Um, you can do multiplayer from two to eight players. Uh, there's ranked queue, so you can play against some of the top players in, uh, in the game. Um, it has god abilities, six of them that you can play with. We, we don't know what all of these things mean. I did watch a few videos to try to understand the game and the mechanics because it didn't want to suck too bad. Uh, but um, uh, it's got challenges, so you have like dailies or seasonal challenges to accomplish, and rewards from that are things like cosmetic uh, items. Uh, you can spectate other games. You can build your own scenarios. And they have live streamed tournaments. So, pretty active seeming um, community. They do have a Discord channel. I'll put that down in the description. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. I mean, it seems interesting enough. I just hope I don't have any motion issues. It did say it was comfortable. And uh, I guess we'll have to take a look and find out. All right, let's jump on in and uh, see what we think. Learn the basics in three to five minutes. Yes, we want to do the quick start. Let's take a look around. Ooh, here's a leaderboard. We have champions. Ah, tournament champions. All right. Ooh, pretty. Oh, founders. That's a pretty long list. All right. Well, let's play the quick start. Let's walk through the basics. Okay. This is your home base. Protected at all costs. I'm moving in a vertical plane here. Okay. Continue. You can move by grabbing space. Use the grips to pull yourself toward your home base. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Turrets defend planets and moons. Okay, so it looks like little uh, spheres with cannons. Uh, oh, by the way, I think there's um, like proximity voice abilities uh, in this as well, so you can hear each other. Uh, okay, so we have turrets. Ships can be moved to defend or attack. Hold the right trigger and grab some in your hand. Guess I'm grabbing them with that ball there. Now throw your ships at this moon. Moons increase your production speed. Okay, so you get resources from moons. Mining drones automatically extract resources and build ships. Okay. You can also teleport around. Point your left wand at this planet and press the trigger. Okay, I like teleporting. You know I like teleporting. So there's my home planet. You can teleport home quickly. Point downward and press the left trigger. Okay. Wormholes are... Oh, too close. Wormholes are another way to move ships. Put your right wand here and quickly tap trigger. In your right wand at this planet, then tap the trigger again. Okay, we have a wormhole. You've made the entrance. In your right wand at this planet, then tap the trigger again. Oh, I, I have a I have a, another 
I can remove that. Okay. Oh, that's not the one they wanted me to make. I think they wanted me to make it at that one. That planet there. Or is it that planet there? Okay. Planets extend your power range. Your drones project power to your ships, allowing them to attack. The mini-map shows your power range. Lift up your left arm to see it. So there's a mini-map. These bars show your fleet size and max fleet capacity. Taking planets increases your max fleet capacity. All right, that all seems to make perfect sense. You'll need to be on the front lines to command your fleet. Point your left wand at this planet and press the trigger. Ships can be made on any planet you own. Capture two nearby moons to start this planet's production. So I guess you have to be close. Your moons have to be close. Seems like I threw them a lot farther away than... I'm back. Wow. Okay. So my, my, my ships are just flying off into Never Never Land. So apparently you don't just throw things at people. It's time to attack the enemy. Quickly tap the right trigger to start a wormhole. Aim your right wand at the enemy planet, then tap the trigger again. This is the enemy home base. To win the game, you need to capture it. You need a lot of ships for your final attack. Move 25 ships here. Okay, well, there's lots of ships moving there. All these ships that are being made. Now you're ready. Take the enemy base. Well, I, I, I would like to go to that planet there. Okay, so I guess we make a wormhole. There we go. And so my ships just appear and start killing their ships. And we get space fireworks. Congratulations, you conquered the solar system. All right, so we have gen a general feel. Your watch has useful buttons. Lift your left arm, then select the exit button with your right wand. Okay, so here's the main menu. Quick start. Learn the basics in three to five minutes. We did that. Campaign mode, single player. That's what we're going to do next. Casual rooms. There's 518 people out there, folks. There's a community. Challenges. I haven't earned any challenges yet, but you can earn cosmetic rewards like crowns and other things. This is where you do ranked Q, and that's in one hour. I don't know what that means, but here's where you can make your own maps. Let's look for updates. Any updates? Okay. So, uh, so I don't, social, does that take you to, oh, Facebook? Discord, YouTube. They do have a YouTube channel. That's where I watched a lot of the videos. I'll tag their channel when I post this one. Buy now. I don't know what we would be buying now. Oh, as a creator? Hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, and cosmetics. Personalize your god. Okay. Well, I want to be red. My stuff. This is where you get titles and things like that, where you can store them. You can actually buy things. Microtransactions. Okay, I'm going to stay out of that. Okay, so let's start the campaign. Let's see if we can play this game right out of the box, just like this. Campaign, Moon Miner. This is number one. Medium difficulty, easy difficulty, hard difficulty. Well, it came 
defaulted as medium, so let's stick with that. Challenges. These are our challenges. Campaign. Defeat God of Production. Capture Five Moons. So these are our... And dailies. We have two hours and 13 minutes to complete dailies. Interesting. All right. Well, let's just play the campaign, and I guess we'll get challenges as they happen. Uh, Moon Miner, defeat the enemy by taking their home base. Take planets to extend your power. Mining, drones extract resources from moons. Power, you can only attack bases where you have power. God of Production specializes in fast production and recovery. So apparently your God power will charge up over time and you can use it. All right, well, let's take that. I think I don't, I want to be less about the throwing and more about the placing, maybe. Okay, so those moons are mine. Can I make... There's a planet over there. Oh, and red is... Let's take the planet. Then we'll go over there. We'll gather up a bunch of these dudes. We'll take this moon. We'll take that moon. I'm in my neighborhood. All right, uh, let's see. I got 18 guys here. He's got 11. Can I go through the sun? I didn't want to necessarily remove that, but let's uh, go take that planet too then. So I, I want these guys fighting. All right, I own this planet. And I want to take that moon. I want to take that. Ooh, there's four. It's only two now. Okay, um, I want, I got 40 something ships over here. I want to, I want my, those ships. I don't want them on the moon, but that's where they're going. Oh, he's already, oh, he's already taken the planet back. Gather up all these guys. Okay, I have my fleet is at capacity. He's got 10. Take his home planet. I wasn't very... I wasn't very, um... Strategic about that. Rat T has regained control of their home base. Okay, so oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to go there. I want to maybe make that. <laughs> we'll take their moons. Okay, we won. Woohoo! I feel like there's a lot of swimming motion moving around in this. Okay. Campaign number two. Reinforcements. Use shield ships to protect your fleet from lasers. How do I make shield ships? I guess I have them already. All right, well, let's... Thank <laughs> you. 
He's over there. I, I don't feel like... Okay. So let's go back here. And let's... We're sort of making a We're making a, 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 a I guess a train or something. Okay. get a feel for this, okay? Alright, so I want that moon. Why are why aren't those Take that planet there. Oh. I don't know that I have the right kind of ships to do that. Where are all my ships? Seems like I have defensive ships. I don't have a lot of attacking ships. I guess I can grab specific ships I need. took mine while I wasn't looking. So I guess the question is, how do I control what kind of ships are being made? noise you're hearing is my dryer. I don't think I'm doing very well here. Mainly because I don't... Can I turn? Do I have to turn here like this? Can't spin the axis? So I have all of this going on. But I don't... I mean, how do I control...
Oh, apparently my god ability is is there. Oh. Oh, look at that. I have a lot of ships now. Okay. Okay. All right, things are happening. I'm sending ships over there, shields and my 83% on charging. He's got 20. All right, so I'm going to remove that now. So I'm going to be, I'm sort of piling up all my ships in one place because I'm going to do an assault. Ooh, he's coming after me here. Yeah, just be him there. That's nice. Well, I've got a ton of, ton of dudes here. Let's go take that planet. Oh, he took mine too. I'll take it back. I've got my god thing. Let's do it. Okay, well, I'm going to take that. Okay, he's got 45. We're going to go back here. I want to start stacking up ships here. Oh, he's coming in. We're all out of salt. Okay, so, well, I've got a ton of ships here. Alright, 
so 38. Where am I at? That's not what I wanted. Do I own the sun? It looks like I own the sun. Isn't that a thing? Right, where's all my dudes? He's actually making an approach back that way. Oh, I got more stuff back here. 50-something. Do that then. And then I want this guy. And this guy. Okay. I have more guys than you now. We're about to take his home base in just a minute. As soon as I hit 100%, I'm going to do a... Stop letting me. I wonder why. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, he just did a god thing, I think. Right, he's got a couple of moons. Fifty. He's at thirty-nine now. Back at his home. Let's go. No, he just. All right, I'm going to attack his home, and I'm going to do a god, my god thing. So then I'll get more ships, and they'll all go that way. think on your feet. You gotta, you gotta be able to make that happen pretty quickly. Missiles will use your explosive ships to penetrate enemy shields. All right, well, let's do that. Explosive ships can penetrate shields and destroy multiple ships at once. Control the special production planets and blow up your enemy. Special production planets, certain planets have specific ship types of ships. Missile ships, Torpedo ships fire bursts of three long-range unguided torpedoes. Shoots guided missiles, which destroy up to two ships. All right. So, first things first. Uh, let's go there. So that's a power planet. Go there. Do that. Oh. That guy destroyed me. Okay. And you back here. And you and you over there. Okay. That's fine. Now, we're looking for a special plant. There's a special plant. I need 12. Build a... Oh, 
Oh, you beat me. I'm gonna have to get up and get this one. He and I are fighting over that. Oh, good. I took it. Um, I also want... Where'd that moon go? Okay. If there was a moon, I think I've already taken the moon. Okay, and we have... Yeah, we have a, a chain coming from our planet up here with ships. So uh, one of the things we do want is that moon right there. <laughs> okay. So those are just... And that's a ship. That's a special planet. That's a missile planet there. I don't want to necessarily try to take that until I feel like I'm good and ready. Alright. I have 32 here. There's only one on that, so let's... I want to go there. I own that now. But I need the moon. Oh, he's coming after it. So this is getting... Okay, I want that and that. I want to take that. Good. And now we have power coming from the moon. We can have our specialty things being done. Where's his home planet? Because I'm kind of curious. He's got 34 on the home planet. And he's awfully close to me here which I don't particularly like. All right, let's remove this one. Let's let's make that go there. Okay. I think I still have everything I, I want to have. Okay. I want these guys now going over there. And I guess I do that until I'm happy with, cause I, until I'm happy with what's left. A lot of dudes there. More than he's got on his home. I want to take that planet there. Remove that. Let's that. Let's. Alright, I want to do that there. Get my moon. Thank you. 
What are the lightning bolts mean? He wants that planet. He's trying to take it now. I don't think he's going to have much success. How much does he have on his home? All right, I'm going to put the thing here. The thing here. Let's double armada his home world. I wish you could turn. I wish you could turn in, in the map. Conquest. Nuclear fusion. Fight with explosive ships for the unstable star. Okay. Let's. I think this is the end of the campaign, no? Oh, okay. There's quite a few. Okay. Um, I want to go out of the campaign mode and let's take a look around at some other things because I want to get a, a I want to get a look around a little bit before I let you go I'm sure you don't want to watch me sort of do that so campaign we're doing that challenges did I have did I, did I play two games today I, did I I feel I felt like I won a game today Uh, casual rooms. Let's just go there and see. Voice chat. God of Gravity is built in voice chat. Voice chat is on by default. All right, so we have, oh, le levels of rooms. That's good because you don't ever want to go into an advanced room and like a, a dumbass so you can go in these rooms and play public games with other people I don't think I'm ready to do that you can have friends play with friends or bots okay so that's fine we have guidelines and public create a public room there competitions ranked queue in beta ranked mode will be updated in February okay so we can join the queue uh, we're not going to do that because and map creator so you can make the types of campaigns ah to pay for additional access so that's interesting to know all right and you have learning videos that's nice okay don't uh, think i got any cosmetics basic None. Oh, okay. Uh, spicy penguin. What do you think? We'll go with. We'll go by spicy penguin. And I like to be red. Okay. Gods of Gravity seems like it's a fun game. Um, I'll have to play it quite a bit more to really get a feel for it. But it seems like it's it's pretty interesting. There's a point where this has to become instinctual. I would like to be able to turn. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I just don't know how without having to turn in my chair to move around. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool. Not only that, hey, it's free. Come on now. How do you beat that? All right. We're going to go. I'm going to keep playing this for a little bit longer. But uh, I don't know. Give it a try. See what you think. Maybe you'll like it too. On that note, we'll see you again. On Thursday for In Death, and next Tuesday for maybe a new game. Bye now.